Hey, how you guys doing? This is Neil, and we're going to rock this house down with how to draw big fat booties like Nicki Minaj, Kim Kardashian. We'll even throw the white girl from Australia, Iggy, in there. She sure don't sound white when she raps, but I, I like her sound. It's very cool. All right, so the first thing is understanding the big booty mechanics because you got to understand the mechanics of big boobs and big booties in order to draw them right, right? I mean, it just makes sense because if you don't know the mechanics of something and how it works, then how do you expect to be able to draw it? So let's go ahead and start with the, the basic idea here of a person, right? So we know, and if we just kind of, you know, just divide this up here in halves and then half again, that's how we get the head. Just for if you're wondering how I'm getting these things, this is going to be her hair from the backside and her neck, right? That's going to be her thing. Anyway, so we know that the hips have to fit in this area. Just, I like to just start with like a triangle at first. We know the rib cage. Now to get the rib cage is really easy. You just draw it down from the shoulder down. So right here from the top of the shoulder down to the bottom of the crotch area. Imagine this is the front view at first. The butt will actually go a little bit further down than the, uh, than the crotch does. These will be our hands. And then take that halfway point between here and here. Divide that. And that's where your elbows are. Right, so if this is like the back and then you have your elbows here, bam. This is just to show, we're not going to make this any like detail really. This is really just to show, that's like kind of like where the scapulas might be. Right, now once you have that down, then we have the, we can do our rib cage. So we know the rib cage goes right about here. And that's where we're going to kind of pull in the rib cage like this. Now one thing that's important is from the front view, you have the femur bones. And the femur bones kind of come out like this. They have these like round knobs on it. That's the part that sticks out of the female the most. That's why you have this, that's how you get this contour right here. That's what makes that contour. You have that hip bone right there. Then you have the femur bone. It kind of comes and the femur bone sticks out more than the hip bone. And then you have the halfway point where the knees would be and that tapers down from there like so. And then you have the calves when it tapers down like so. Right, so the widest part of the female is right here at that crotch area where those femur bones stick out. Well, when we're dealing with someone like Kim Kardashian, when we're dealing with someone like Nicki Minaj and Iggy, well, they got these normal size waist. The, the, the waist actually look eccentric. They look totally like too tiny. And the reason why is because they got these big, gigantic butts. But also means, though, they have these nice, wide, angled, uh, the butts can come down a little bit farther, like down here. They got these wide, angled hips. So we can automatically draw if we just kind of draw with points, draw that point out farther like that, then we can round it out. So that's the general idea that we want to get when we start drawing these types of women. Now I'm just going to move her hands out of the way for right now because we want to be able to see all this. All right, so from the back side, we just want to be able to see that curve, right, and it's big. Now let's zoom in and let's get the butt right. And once we know that that's the main shape we have to deal with, we have to fit the butt into the area. Now we know we have usually these two little indents right here. You have the spine that goes up like that. Part of the butt will start here. Now, butt is mostly fat, right? And so from this area that the butt comes down, it's going to kind of hang over. Now there's different types of, of butts that can happen. And honestly, sometimes Nicki Minaj's butt from the backside honestly doesn't look all that great. It's, it's got to like have the right pose for her butt to really look good. It really depends on when... She's lost weight and stuff like that here and there. So, and then same thing with uh, Kim Kardashian. But usually the thighs are going to come out like that. So together, it's kind of basic thing here. Something like that, right? So that's how you get that that big butt look. And I kind of didn't round this out enough. It's all it's all that fatty tissue that that sticks onto it. Bam. So that's the, that's the basic idea. Now, if you don't know anatomy and stuff like that, and some of this might not make sense, then you have a little bit of love handles like this on the backside, and boom. Now you got nice, big, fat booty. But now we need to draw it in a cool pose, like something like this here. Now, this is a cool pose. Um, I like it. But we're going to draw actually a different cool pose, maybe something more like what Nicki Minaj might might do. And that might give the butt a better rounded rounded look, too. It kind of stretches out the, the fat more. Now, Nicki Minaj, sometimes she has this, the biggest booty ever. Same thing with Kim, Dar Kim Kardashian. This really famous picture where she's like she's like sitting on this uh, thing. I'll just show you what a butt looks like when it's sitting down real quick. So, famous picture. She's at the beach. She's sitting down. So, the first thing is you just imagine the waist area here and just kind of get the basic idea 
of the shape, right? And it's going to hang over the, the edge, and then she'll have like a little bit of love handles, and then you'll have that butt crack here, and you'll have the middle part coming up. We're going to keep with this all, you know, um, well, I don't know what rating it'll be, but we're going to keep it where, where shit's clothed, right? So we'd have like, you know, coming here like that, and we'd have some panties or something, or bikini. I mean, I know p bikinis are are allowed on, on YouTube and stuff, so it kind of actually would kind of, well, what the hell? It would disappear differently than that, so it kind of depends like that. You know, kind of come across, boom, like that, okay, something like that, right? So now she's got some clothes on. It's all good. Can't can't flag it for porn because it's not porn. I'm not drawing porn. I'm teaching how to draw big, fat, luscious booties, which is part of, you know, like the comic industry and things like that. You got to know how to draw this kind of stuff, right? So she has this, uh, Kendra Kardashian has this, like, thin, you know, thin waist and normal size shoulders and everything. She's not a comic book character. I draw her. I don't know. She, I know she looks something like this and her arms are doing something, whatever. It doesn't really matter. That part's not important. We're worried about, but not about arms, right? So you can, you can watch a different lesson. You want to learn how to draw how to draw arms and then you have her head and stuff whatever right so the important part is the butt that's what we want to deal with right now so let's go ahead and zoom in on the butt the butt area here and that's where her her actual bikini is going to be like that so what happens with the butt when you're sitting down is it kind of gets flattened out right now one thing is that you got to it's fatty tissue, right? That, to have a big fat butt like that, it's a lot of fatty tissue. And so the fat has to spread out that way when you sit down on this on this hard ledge, right? So both butt cheeks have to spread out that way, but they also have to, have to go and be pressed upward, right? They're being pressed upward out, so they have to like change shape the way it normally is. Now, that's like a basic idea. It's not going to quite be shaped like that, but it gives you an idea. So imagine if you had two water balloons, and you had your water balloons, and they're normally just kind of shaped like this, right and then you had to smash them well let's say the more rounded just regular rounded water balloons you have to smash them well gravity's going to push up on them this way and as gravity push up on that way that's going to change the shape of the water balloon and so that, that has to go somewhere right because the, the it has to dispense the amount of water so the water that was here has to go up this way has to come out this way it has to go somewhere it can't just disappear right so that volume goes somewhere that volume goes and extends out this would normally be shaped like that it extends it out bigger and extends this up bigger, so it's all more it's all more bubbly, right? So all this becomes more bubbly, like that. So that's how I kind of imagine it. And, and when you're dealing with the mechanics, and, and yeah, the mechanics of drawing bootylicious butts, right? So think about it that way, and then you'll understand how and why that Kim Kardashian photo looks the way it does. So I'm gonna draw here. I'm gonna try to stay away from like drawing it nude, and so the butt kind of hangs over the wall just a little bit. But it's still flattened. You know, it doesn't have a, a round. It's more flat right here rather than round. And I don't know what's up with this pencil. Let me try the color pencil. This pencil is just kind of irritating me right now. I'm gonna draw with a slightly smaller pencil too. This will give me more of that pencil look anyway. And then we'll go like this right here. All right. So that's the kind of the kind of roundness. You don't want it too flat. You want it too round. Now this is the part we gotta get it, you gotta get it right. You gotta really kind of wrap this around so that it's pushing that weight out, like I told you with that balloon idea. So butt and and, uh, and and breast are kind of similar in that way. You know, like I imagine kind of like balloons. All right, let's take her clothing here now. That's where her love handle up to kind of raise some of this here, make it a little bit more presentable. Just making clear clear lines. I'm trying not to let's say she has tie here. I think that's how it was. You all know what photo I'm talking about, right? You've all seen this photo. I'm sure you have. Who hasn't seen this Kim Kardashian photo? You're living in a cave if you haven't seen it. Right, so what's going to happen here is uh, I think the bikini would actually get uh, kind of scrunched up a little bit. Okay. You have like a couple wrinkles in here maybe. That seam, if you have a seam, a couple wrinkles come out this way. Because all the, normally the bikini might, you know, come down like here more and wrap like that. But it's being uh, smashed in and tucked under to show the buttocks more. And it's being smashed between the butt cheeks, literally smashed between the butt cheeks. So the butt cheeks can hang out. You might even draw a little line right there just to show the butt is hanging outside of your bikini. And then the bikini is like that. And that's all the bikini right here. We'll kind of color it all one color. Yeah, I, I can you know shade that much better. Sorry about that. Just trying to get through this quickly because you know I don't want the I don't want to go too long. Be talking too much and shit and 
just make my things go too long, right? People be complaining, saying that I make my, make my lessons too long, right? Then from here, really, it's all about, you know, the lighting. And unfortunately, she I think she had sand all over her butt. So, but we do know that she had some like highlighting here and there was like a dip. Um, there's like a highlight here like that. And then there's a dip in blackness like this side, like here, like that. And that shows me that the light is coming from the right hand side because this is a dip and so it lights here, lights here. So if the light's coming from the right hand side, I know that the highlights can be somewhere around here and around here. That's the main highlight area. And so now let's go ahead and give her some bootylicious uh, shading here. We'll, we'll start with kind of a mid-tone for all of it first like this. Just kind of go across like that and then we're going to get darker where the light isn't going to be touching as much down here. I like to start with the bigger brush first. Darker side over there. Like that. Alright, so nice. You don't want to you want to you want to be round, right? You're not shading something around. You gotta think about the actual shape of what it is you're you're shading. Right, that brush is really cool. I like it. I think it does a good job of just kind of quickly you know grabbing in and getting that those colors that we want, in this case, the shading that we want. Make all this kind of one color for right now. And I know my highlights are going to be over there. So now I'm going to grab this back. Oops, I didn't mean to undo that. So I got to redo it. And I don't have a redo button. So I have to go up here to edit and redo. And I meant to hit uh, this button here. Grab that color. There we go. Make a couple highlights here. Kind of fade it out like that. Might have a highlight there. Might have a little bit of under, you know, some light hitting from whatever this thing is she's sitting on. I can't remember what it was, but whatever. It's something, right? And then we can have shadow, obviously, all right in here on this thing because, you know, her butt's gonna be casting shadow. Light's coming from that side, so all this over here is gonna have shadow, right? You might even be able to see the shape of her butt a little bit from the, from the light, depends on the direction it's in. Maybe in this right here I might be casting a little bit of shadow onto the wall and it kind of changes the shape of the shadow too because you know it's being cast onto a flat wall but yeah right so there you go folks that's what that'd be how you kind of do that and it look end up looking something like that there now you, depending on what angle if you're on you know slightly from the left or the right you might be seeing a little bit of a thigh and so you might want to you know kind of sketch some of that in there and kind of show okay well there's a little bit of the thigh that's visible as it's going over you might want to break up that line a little bit and then uh, maybe you can even see a little bit of this thigh over here. I'm not really sure. It depends on what angle you're looking at it at. But it's a little bit of the thigh visible. Then you can take your eraser tool here, kind of erase some of the hard lines. Let's go ahead and merge these together now. Like that there. And voila. So what that does is it shows that, you know, the leg is kind of making its way that way still. This is all one form. You don't want to break it up too much. All right, and there you have it. All right now, let's go ahead and draw it. What if you're like, you know, Nicki Minaj style? Do you want to really draw like a, a really cool pose for a butt? And that's what we're gonna do now is Nicki Minaj style. This is more like Kim Kardashian. This would be kind of like, kind of like Iggy and like Iggy over here. Iggy has a really thin waist, like crazy, almost anime for how big her hips and thighs are. It's crazy. Iggy Azalea or something like that. I don't know how her now. I don't know. I don't know how to say her last name. I don't even care. Don't correct me. I don't need, I don't need no correction. All right. So let's say we're gonna draw some Nicki Minaj style here. Um, and so we have like her her shoulders like this. I think she's done, she's done a, a pose like this. And uh, it might not be exact, but whatever. Uh, we'll get something similar to what she had. Have her shoulders here like that. Um, there's less space on this side over here. And there's her uh, shoulder blades. Kind of sticking out right here and over there a little bit. And then we'll have her uh, man, like that. I'm not really sure. So uh, the arm, I kind of want the arm to come down like this. And then I think what I'm going to do with the arm is maybe I'm going to just kind of have it coming out like this. And then I don't know what she's doing with her hand. doesn't matter. Maybe she's just pointing or something like that. That way it can kind of like, um, now you know what? I don't even know if I think, I don't think I want it like that. I mean, I kind of want the arm like that, but I don't think I want all this like that. So I'm going to start out, I'm going to start like this. It's nice narrow area. That's kind of basic shape. So let's, let's do what I, let's do what I'm supposed to be doing here. 
basic shapes and besides this how I'm supposed to be you know trying to like show you guys how to do it anyway right the proper way the way that you do the basic shapes first and get all that down kind of have the you know, rib cage and all that good stuff all right so now we need the breast and because uh, if she's kind of turning sideways a little bit you might be able to see the breast here it's always good you know when you have a pose where uh, it shows the breast and and the boot or the, the breast and the ass at the same time you know, and I don't think ass is a cuss word, so just shut up. Don't 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 try to tell me I cuss all the time. I don't cuss all the time. Ass is not no cuss word. I know some people disagree with that. That's fine. That's that's why we that's why we're allowed. You know, we're allowed to disagree with each other. And you know, there are thumbs out there. Obviously, your thumbs not like huge like that. So it's just to kind of hint at it. Maybe she's pointing. I don't know what she's doing, but uh, maybe she's doing something like that. Like yeah, you know. Right. So there we go. And we have her neck here. Platoon face just gonna kind of draw a circle for now and have her neck come like that we'll have her come down this we gotta we gotta pull that all the way up the center and then we gotta have this part here and we gotta have kind of come like that maybe you can see part of her arm like that over there all this doesn't matter because this is just to get to the point of drawing drawing her but that's what it's all about, right? We'll go to the, uh, we can just imagine she has clothes on, right? She's not nude. That comes across like that. She's got clothes on, people. She's not nude, so yeah. Don't try to don't try to tell me I'm drawing porn because I'm not. All right, now we got to draw the booty. Now her booty is so like bubbliciously round that you can't even see the clothes that she's be wearing um, hardly. Uh, so you can just kind of almost imagine this very roundness here to start with a very round shape and it's very big and it's very round because we're dealing with Nicki Minaj and she has a very big very round booty and it's kind of make it not too round like it's still it's still got some ovalness to it you know but like that and then um, you know her legs are gonna come out like this that's her knee over here something like that and then uh, like this that's going to kind of connect to her butt's going to kind of come up off of here. We're just kind of loosely sketching for right now. Draw her, her legs come back like this. Well, maybe we can, I don't know, maybe we can even like draw her in some kind of crazy high heels or something. Um, that'd be kind of cool. Like that. And then coming down. And then she's like on her tippy toes here of the high heels. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm messing that up. Not sure I wanted it like that, sideways. Um, hmm. That don't look right. So instead, I'm going to kind of turn her foot. Let's turn her foot instead. All right, let's have her ankle come down like this. This part's not important, folks. Honestly, why am I even caring about this? Um, you know, the, the high heel comes down like that or something, like this. Maybe you'll see a little bit of the side of it and then kind of coming down as it comes down the front view and you kind of see a little bit of the front of it like that. Anyway, some shit like that. I'm not even going to try to focus on that right now because that part's not important. Again, what's important here is her butt, right? So I'm losing the plot. Stop losing the plot, Neil. Stay focused, man. What's wrong with you? You got to stay focused. You got you got people want to see you drawing uh, big fat Nicki Minaj booty, man. They they don't want to. They don't care about feet. They don't care about shoes. Maybe they do, but right now that that's not what they care about, you know. So yeah, just stick to the plot, Neil. I'm talking to myself now. I'm crazy and stuff over here. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, this is just like pretend like her foot somewhere in here. Boom, that's foot. Okay, that's how important the foot is. Is that you just throw some weird looking blocky square shapes and that we're just call that a foot and the same thing with this foot here that's actually, that foot shouldn't be there actually you know what to save time i'm just gonna do the, the, i'm gonna cheat i'm gonna do the cheating way you know forget redrawing stuff just throw it up there like that and that's done okay so now we got feet and we got buttocks now now let's focus on the anatomy of the of the buttocks here and how we're going to add in the uh how it's attached to the legs get this nice big fat booty and yeah, well, maybe we can go through a little bit of the muscles. I don't know. That, I don't know. Fuck all that shit. You guys don't care about that. No one cares about anatomy. Actually, some people do. You know, they buy my anatomy course. 
So if you're not familiar, go to my website, masspainnow.com, and uh, I have a, a whole anatomy course there. It's a 60-hour long anatomy course. It's everything you need to know about anatomy. And if you just want more of a get down and get busy with anatomy, um, I sum up anatomy in two hours where all the muscles connect and everything. And another course, I actually want to do another one, but... Uh, uh, but this one's really good. It's part of my how to draw anime body. So I mean, that might throw you off. You'll be like, what? How does that? But honestly, the anime, the anatomy is the same. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to draw where her bikini comes up. Now, you see, there's a couple different places bikinis attached to. Nowadays, it seems like people, women, wear the bikinis on the lower spot here. So you have, the, you have your love handle here. You can either wear the bikini up here where it attaches up like that. But people don't really do that no more. That's used to be like in the 80s. Women used to wear their pants up that high. Now you wear past the love handles down here on this where you connect to the bone there. And that, that holds up your bikini line. So there we go. Anyway, it's uh, in, in my uh, course on my site called, I think it's uh, How to Draw Anime People and Bodies. I have a two-hour course in there where it's part of the course. The course is actually longer than that. But part of that course, for two hours of it, I go through human anatomy. And it's just regular human anatomy because you need to know regular anatomy to draw anime and so I basically distill 60 hours of knowledge into two hours and so if you just want to get down and dirty with anime really quickly that's the way to do it right now I do want to do another one I'm um, using pencil and paper or um, just maybe a, a modern version of it more updated version of the course and, and just kind of like basically be it be anatomy you know quick and dirty anatomy so uh, just take anatomy and distill it down to its to its very essence and that way I can really just, um, that way it's not so long, you know, instead of 60 hours. 60 hours, if you want the full thing, you want to learn everything you can about anatomy, then yeah, the 60 long hour course, anatomy for figure drawing, mastering your figure, that's definitely the course you want. But um, I think some people just want to like, hey, I just, I want to know anatomy, but I don't want to go, I don't want to do all that work and learn all that. So that's a lot of stuff to watch and learn. Anatomy is really complicated, but I can really, you know, distill it down, like I said, in the other course I did. So, yeah. Now, so she's, she's wearing like a type of G-string or something, so her, her just kind of disappears right into her big butt. Even if she weren't, even if she were wearing some kind of normal panties, it wouldn't matter. Her butt is so big, it would just swallow up the, it would just swallow it up, and you wouldn't even see it. You know, it would just swallow it right up between her butt cheeks, and you would not even see it. It'd be gone, because that's, that's how Nicki Minaj's butt does. It just, it just swallows it up. Now, what's cool about Manga Studio, especially if you have the touch screen, you can easily just turn the screen around. This way, I don't have to actually turn around. This way, you can see what I'm doing, right? Because if I didn't do that just now, you wouldn't know what I was doing. You, would, you, would like, like, you wouldn't realize I was turning my whole entire Cintiq, because I can turn my Cintiq around and draw on it, right? But if, if you're using something like, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're using a, uh, an Intuos or something like that, right? Well, then Intuos... You know, it doesn't allow you just to turn it around and draw like that. So instead, you would go ahead and use the turn feature. You can use these turn features here, like in Manga Studio, like that, and turn it around as you need it. You know, and then when you need it to go back, just hit this button. Bam, you're right back where you were. Right. So that would be the basics of Nicki, Nicki Minaj. Um, now, it, this I think there's a poser. So she has something really similar to this here. And I've drawn a lot of these different kinds of poses. Um, I I think the light on the left hand side would look the best. We could do on the right hand side or the left hand side. It really doesn't matter. Um, let's imagine it's on the left hand side here, and you'd have like a little bit of light source uh, if her arms not blocking it, like right in this area here. It's usually a dip, but it would, might take a little bit of light in this case. That's what dips do when they're the opposite way around, something like that there. And now watch what happens. How much more bootylicious everything looks when you add just a little bit of shading to everything here. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit of shading to the legs here as well. Kind of blend that out. And I'm, 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 I should be working on a layer underneath this. I don't like ruin the, uh, I don't want to ruin the pencil there. All right, so let's kind of blend that out. All right, kind of come up like this, blend all that out. So I'm going with the darker part of the shadow first, and I'm kind of blending it out. I'm using a slightly different blending technique instead. Now I'm using more of like a watercolor type blending technique where I'm leaving the white white. I'm not like painting back over it. I'm not like doing all kind of gray and then painting back over it again. And actually the, some of this right here, this would, oh, that's what will happen on way too small of a brush there. Some of this would have some highlight as well. 
Let's go ahead and add some more. Let's go pure white. Make it nice. Nice highlight here. All right, let's go back to the pencil. I'm just going to erase some of that. Those line work there. Back to the coloring. And let's just kind of blend this all out now. Just take another, just use the Alt key and just kind of grab some of these in between colors and just kind of blend that out. And I'm almost making it look like it's like, you know, purposely overblown, like blown out. It's, it's like a little bit too white. And then I'm going to add a little bit of dark butt crack shadow because you have one form overlapping another, and that's going to just create a little bit of a butt crack shadow. All the other shading is to be very, very subtle. Like that. Might have a little bit more darker shading up in here. Kind of blend that out though. You have a little bit of crack right here. We have some darker shading. And then let's go ahead and add all this right here. Just a little bit darker shading right in here. Kind of blend that out. Take a lighter color now. That way we can kind of add that lighter color into the darker color. Blend a lot. Now, so, now suppose there's some sort of, you know, something underneath here that allows rim, you know, rim lighting to hit her nice bootylicious butt jiggling everywhere. And we'll just add just a little bit of that, that lighter color into there. And that's like the rim lighting. If it was color, we can make it a be different color. And there you have it. So um, we drew some buddy, some bootylicious butts, and uh, this one we can even make it bigger. I think I think Kardashian's butt might even be bigger than that. Um, like it really just smashes out really big. Like it might be more like this. Like you have the thing here, and then you have you have the wall, and then you have her her hips right here, and you have her butt. I think her butt actually kind of goes like that. I think it's big, huge, just like you know like damn how can a woman have a butt that big? I think their butts are too big I'll be honest I'm not into all that um, you know I like butts and everything but but damn there's a limit you know what I mean now Iggy she has an interesting body because I don't know her such a tiny waist and and her butt's not like so overly big but it's pretty damn big and I so I think uh, anyway I'm pretty sure Kim's butt is more like that, like, like seriously big. I right, said so it was irritate me, you know, like this looked pretty good. This look, this look good too. But I was like, I'm curious, like, am I making her butt too big? Cause in my brain, it just seems like it's too big. And I think here I kind of exaggerated here. I think here I got pretty close. Um, here's an actual direct draw over just straight traced right over it. And then I added my own shading to it really quickly. And it looks like, um, that's how big her butt is. So it's actually not nearly as big as I, is I had remembered it in my brain, but still, it's huge. It's a big, big butt, and sometimes your butt's really big, especially from the side view. From the side view, sometimes it looks weird, like too big. I think you have this like side view of this woman, and her butt is just like this, and it just looks weird the way it's shaped, you know. And you have her breast here, you know, nice small waist and everything, and then just like wow like what happened to the butt there it's just big but sometimes it doesn't it's not shaped like that it'll be it'll be shaped all kind of messed up like a like a like a fat butt like some of that's fat and uh not saying that you know being fat's bad or anything just saying sometimes you know Nicki Minaj's butt and Kim, Kim Kardashian's butt get praised a little too much and sometimes they're kind of shaped like that and just look all weird from the from the side view that's not, you know, to me, that's not an attractive butt from the side view. To me, attractive butt from the side view would be like this. Even if they had big hips and everything like Iggy and, and stuff, it would kind of come more like that. It'd have more of a shape like that from the side view. And I'm not quite like that. Almost like a heart shape, but, you know, like, I, don't, I wouldn't want it to be too, you know, hooked right there. Something more like that, and that would look better to me from a side view. But yeah, so all right, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this bootylicious video. If you have, please go ahead and rate the video. You know, thumbs up it, man. Just all it takes is a second. Pow! Just click that thumbs up. I appreciate it. And uh, share the hell out of the video to people everywhere. 
and just be like, hey, check out this video, man. It's cool. It's all about drawing bootylicious butts, and I think you'll dig it. And and I don't know what else to say. <laughs> My novel is published. Woo! Um, have you guys seen the cover to it yet? Man, hold on real quick. Right, so Big Ideas Publishing, I think, did a great idea. I think their marketing idea for the cover is fantastic. I like it a lot. Um, I think it maybe a dark cover might be kind of cool too, but this might really stand out, and that, that's their main, uh, I think that's the main logic behind it is, you know, if you go look at all the different uh, young adult vampire novels, they're all dark covers, uh, most of them. And so this one should stand out with these bright colors and uh, being predominantly white and then really bright colors. And yeah, so I think it's really cool. But if, if no one has actually got a chance to read it back in the day years ago when I first uh, started writing it, uh, it's come a long way uh, that they're editing it. They're doing a really good job in editing everything. So yeah, uh, well, at least they're hiring an editor as far as I know and uh, editing me and the editor going back and forth and she's doing a great job on editing it. And yeah, so uh, stay tuned for that. I don't know how long it's going to be, maybe, maybe a month or two before it's out on, on, uh, on Amazon. So I'll let you guys know when it's out. But yeah, okay, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. One other thing, real quickly. I have a video game out called Magic vs. Monsters on Google Play. It's free. Check it out. It's pretty awesome. Um, if you want to leave a review on it, that'd be awesome. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to play it. And I bet you no one could beat my score. And the thing is, you guys actually get an advantage over me. Because as a producer, I can't actually buy that. You get one extra continue. You can buy one continue for a dollar. So let's say you get to like around uh, 16 or something like that. And you're like, oh man, how did I just now die? I know I could do better than that. Instead of having to start all over again uh, from round one, you can actually pay the dollar and start from round 16 again. I can't do that. As the publisher will not let me do it. So I get one chance and that's it. And I have I got a super high score. I think it's 510,000 level 36 or 34, something like that. And no one's even come close to beating me yet. Uh, my girlfriend's trying really hard to beat me. She, we're really competitive like that. And uh uh, she, she's she's only halfway there, so she's got a ways to go. So yeah, if, see if any of you guys think you're good at those kinds of games. Um, it's a it's a okay. How do you describe it? It's like I'll show you guys. I'll show you an uploaded video uploaded video how to play it. But basically, it's like playing um, Bejeweled kinda, and you match the gems. But you can move gems anywhere, whether they match colors or not. But when they have it, whenever they do make three in a row or more, then automatically it blows up, and then it sends magic down. Uh, four lanes. <laughs> Pretty sure it's four lanes. So the monsters are walking it. So it's kind of like a tower defense game beats uh, meets Bejeweled. It's a really interesting concept I came up with. One day I was just thinking about it, and I'm like, I like playing Plants vs. Zombies. I like playing Bejeweled. I wonder if I can design a game that like takes both those two games and mashes them together, and I made it. And it's freaking awesome. It's so fun to play. It's super addicting. So if you get a chance, check out the game. Check it out. I appreciate it. Any way you guys can support me is awesome. Um, you know, just even a comment is, is a great supporter clicking that thumbs up button. But, uh, yeah, if you want to take the extra steps and check it out, my game, that'd be awesome. All right. So Booyakasha, who knows who that's from? I think there's one main person that coined that phrase. Booyakasha. What's his name? Was it Ollie G? I don't know. Maybe someone coined it before Ollie Jean. Ollie Jean. <laughs> Ollie G. Woo! Time to stop working. I've been working all day, so I'm done. All right, guys. Peace out.